Rugal pop out. Every once in a while, you see a Rugal come out, and they play like crazy, and you just absolutely love to see it. This character, of course, kind of slept on. A lot of people feel like he's a little bit lower on the tier list. Yeah. But here we go, jumping straight into the first match, Rock versus Oyashiro. Here we go, baby. Ready? Go! Good job, man. Get a nice start. Space back. Get that grab to open things up. Oh, and then the jumping CD immediately catches him below, just already starting off strong. The cross-up already started. Yeah, tosses him back to mid-screen, though, but keeps that pressure up there with the 2B. Right. Right now, running out. Ooh. Gonna have to eat this. Doesn't go for the continuation, either. Oh, but he gets it back in the corner. Yeah. Lands him with the overhead. That's a perfect. Ooh. All right, so we're starting out guns blazing tonight. Oh, but he's shaking the screen, question. too? My man just flex and shakes the screen? I have to ask a question. Can it still count as an overhead if they're airborne? Ready? Of course, of course. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, if it's hitting you in the dome and you get caught crouching, that's an overhead. It's just a very <laughs> slow overhead. Oh, the Dark King going with the cancel. Also right back into the corner. Has Ooh. Renegade up against the ropes here. Oh, gets the EX, too. Mm. Wow, and literally Dark oh King not get any room to breathe for Renegado right now. That's a double perfect right off the bat. Dark King trying to work on a turkey here. Mm, can he pull the hat trick real quick? Oh, uh, well, again, here comes the top tier right now. Yeah, Cronin, all Cronin needs is a DP and a dream here. Mm. Right, trying to go for a low profile. Good defense there from Dark King. Oh, no, this is going to hurt. All yeah. the way into the corner here with that level one. Yeah, cannot give Mr. McDougal any room to breathe. Get the overhead. No, don't again. let it happen. Renegade, please. Okay, the DP comes out. You do not get the triple perfect. You're going to spend all the cash. Yeah, he has to at this point. Stay home. Mm, catches him with the genuine overhead that time. Being very patient in the approach too now. But Good what an anti-air CD gonna close out game number one just like that. All right, and Dark, you know, King right now, really putting on a show and making the statement. Manages to get the OCB, doesn't get the triple perfect. We're not gonna fault him for that. Still though, very, very impressive stuff from Dark King's Oyashiro. Yeah, the, uh, the O in Oyashiro stands for OCB here. There it is. Is Crone still the best okay, character? So yeah, then. yeah. <laughs> yeah, chat, he is still the best character. <laughs> Again, he's still the best character, but that's not to say that there aren't any answers to him. No, of course, the there thing, are always yeah. answers. Exactly. One of the things that I fear a lot of people bring... Oh, oh, oh. Interesting. Oh. I just want Jeremy. I like this change, though. They had my curiosity before. Now you have my attention. <laughs> Bringing in the double grappler as well, right? Mm. All right. Well, fire, fire with fire, baby. We're about to go full Greco-Roman up in this. Yeah, starting off first, though, with the exact same matchup that we had before, right? Rock up against Oyashiro. So the difference is going to be is Renegade been able to figure out what they did wrong in that last match. Ooh, wow, nobody did for the hard edge. And she's jumping, goes to the sweep. You know, just on the Dane of the little bit that we've seen so far in for 10 seconds, Renegado has already done better. Yeah, but this is where the snowball can start rolling, right? You oh. get grabbed once, put into the corner. There's a nice 2D and escape, but immediately gets tossed right back in. I guess it opens to the cancel. Oh, but again, low profile into the super cancel. Now he's got it. Not gonna be able to kill here though, but one more mix up's gonna do it here. Wake up throw comes out from Renegade. Ooh. Wow, that's a... uh. <laughs> now, granted, that was never going to connect, but it is something to be said. Oh, tossing him and going for a grab, knowing it wasn't going to reach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just trying for it. Here comes the dinosaur now. Immediately gets the claw swipes. Okay, Renegado gets the pile driver. It's a hurricane, baby. Trying to go for the body splash. I shut down for the EX claw. No, oh, there's the pick up. Pressure is on once again. Tries to go for the frame kill there with the 5A. Mm. 
that was ambiguous. He crossed under Woo. twice there, caught him with the 2B. Not gonna kill, but locked down in the corner right now. Let's see. Ooh, there is not going to be an answer. <laughs> that one's gonna kill, for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and King of Dinosaurs has gone the way of the dinosaur right now, and he is off the screen. But here comes Shermie. Now, I'm curious to see what Renegado is going to bring out here. Yeah, Shermie a little more coming in here, but immediately getting anti-air by that CD. Yeah. Got to be careful for the ZX Lumpus, my friend. You do not want to run. Let's see. You do not want to run towards the grapple. That's, that should be 101. Well, there's nowhere to run now. Back is up against the wall. Manages to roll through, though. Changing up the pace a bit. EX. Wow, into the cancel. I respect going straight into the super cancel there, right? Because you need to regain some of this lost ground. Right. Oh, wow. What a throw. It's time to beautifully do. Dark cancel comes out, and the JD is going to do it there. All right, still, this is a very, very tall order. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Renega Renegado is going to have to make a very big comeback here. Not a lot of meter to work with going up against a full health Rugal with nearly four bars. This, uh, this, can, get very early. this can get very ugly early, so got to be careful right now. I go to the ground. Gets the JB cross up. Boom. Lands a god press as well, and that's going to be it. 2-0, Dark King takes it, moving forward here in the winner side of the bracket. Air Dash, a lot of that stuff is really unique, but most people tend to stick with just his really strong buttons for the most part, right? Unless they're going for that neck breaker. True. And let's not forget, this is a guy who has a mid-air counter. Something else you don't see, so. Wow, but again, Koshi already starting off. You're 35% gone. Yeah, just harassing pace here with the jumping CD, the standing CD, a lot of these light normals as well. Mm. Just like that, that hop back JA, right? Just say, no, you're not allowed to come into my space. It's not happening. I'm not doing that. And back hop back up. CD. Mm. Mm. Time to go over the overhead. I'm really an overhead with Godzilla, but nonetheless. Okay, it begins. Oh, doesn't go for the no Ninja Bees. And Johan Gomez coming through with the five tier one gifted subs. Thank you so much for the support. And Bye. everyone who just got some subs, enjoy the emotes. Mm. All right, but again, Coach Steve coming down with the knees, opening up pace. Right, here comes Lady Legacies. Them legs. Mm. And this is a character who can contend with my range, right? She Jeez. does have those long range, long legs, is able to get in pretty easily. And they're just going to trade there with the CD. And again, decent pace right now. Pace doing, again, a good job of more or less stunting a lot of the stuff that Coach Steve wants to pull off. But he has to stay on his points. Coach Steve, that inch, he's going to take the mile. Ooh, runs up and throws the Shatter Strike attempt. There's another toss, and now Pace is in a compromising position, and Luong is on the back burner. Tsk, tsk, tsk. We hardly knew you, love. All right, we got, here comes the bouncer himself. Keeps ordering the club. Astro. And again, this button. Yeah. Jumping as well, gonna spend the meter to get the extra corner carry, and now Coach Steve has you right where he wants you. But what a shatter strike coming out from Pace! Good, you know, shatter strike there, and again, good continuation on it as well. Decent ants here. Left himself open for that. Now just starting to play a little bit of a zoning game here. Whittling Pace Yashiro down. Catches the roll through. And this is going to be it. Game for one. I Squirrel is going to be enough. And Coach Steve gets one on the board with the OCV. Yeah. Butter. Wow. Two OCVs in two games. Kind of what a lovely OCV it is, too. <laughs> right. So we're going to jump back into it. Or what's Pace thinking? Let's see, order selection. Mm -hmm. Not even a member selection, just maybe changing up the order. Maybe it feels like Select putting order. another character in against mine might be the right pick. That's the blue. 
But no, right. actually just gonna lock in the exact same team here. Oh, the correction, no, because he oh, had Gato on yes, point yes, last yeah. time. That's right. So he's gonna use the Wong and the you know possibility of her range to maybe negate a little bit of Mai's offense. Because we did get to see that Mai basically danced around Gato the whole time. But Luong was able to kind of cut Coach Steve off with the pass in a few exchanges. All right, here we go, just trying to hop in, get over that pressure. Every single time you feel like Pace is able to get in, they just trade and immediately Pace has to get in once again. Mm. Just a little bit too far away for the launch. Go. All right, just grab black in the corner. Ooh, begins. That's all for reset the target combo. Hops yeah. over and gets a whiff punish. And now Coach Steve learning every lesson conceivable from the last matchup against the Wong. Ooh, what a beautiful shadow strike. Yeah, having to bank it all on that though. If that Shire Strike failed, Luong was a goner. Gets a nice run up throw. Tries to go for the cross up, but it's not going to work out. Trying the sneaky stuff, but Coach Steve's been down that road before. Now bringing in the Gato. My down to about half health, but we saw how this went before. Mm. Right. Goes to the simple one. No two piece in the biscuit. No drink. Hmm. Okay, nice. Again, here we go. Another thing we don't really get to see too much of from Gatsu. And here we go, just harassing with that 2B and 2A, right? The oh. neutral jump, 5B though, coming out. Trying, ever so slightly. Don't play there for the EX, but again, good defense. Oh, runs right into the low profile though. Yeah, Pace tried to go for an optimal punish there, but ran in a little too deep. Coach Steve was able to recover. And once that level 5B connects with Coach Steve, like I said, he is ready to unload. And here we go, Coach Steve now trying to work on another OCB. Two OCBs in a row. He do it. There's that CD already back. starting to push Yashiro out, but there we go. Jumps over, gets clipped by the 2B, and now Pace is going to be able to close this out. They spend the meter, but they drop the combo. Okay, and this is not good. This is not where you want Coach Steve's mind. No, this range is absolutely dangerous. I'm trying to go for the jump in. Ah, too much wind up on that overhead left him wide open. Jump in. Oh, harassing a little bit. Takes off the throw attempt. And AG42 coming through with the gift sub. Appreciate it, my friend. Months. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, so Pace actually manages to get Coach Steve's point off the board, but now it's out of the fry pan into the fire because you have to go against Gato. And a very aggressive Gato with that. Yeah, talk about aggressive here, already doing a clean 30% damage combo, gets the jumping CD. Whiff off that EX though, that's gonna hurt. And there we go, the run up throw classic, Coach Steve gonna take it 2-0. Yeah. And that's something we saw from both games. They start off with an OCB right at the start. <laughs> All right, but yeah, you're a matchup. Not one we get to see very often, but entertaining nonetheless. Yeah, and yeah, Yuri Whip is definitely interesting. I feel like Yuri, because of how stubby she can be and how her fireballs don't really go full screen, can kind of struggle when Mothman can get that zoning game started. Right. And again, one of the things that we tend to really take for granted when it comes to Whip is that she's got an incredible range. Yes, absolutely. Some of the best range in the entire game, but that does not matter if you block with your face like that. Mm -mm. All right, good defense. Trying to set things up. Gets the whip. Ooh, gets the overhead into the stop. Here we go, just trying to keep the pressure on, but Paras is doing such a good job of doing these jump forward JBs to catch Mothman every single time Mothman enters the air. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Have not seen this color many miles in a long time. <laughs> I don't even know what to think of this color, honestly. Pink and green. Open. This is the strawberry kiwi. 
Oh, there we go, the slicer. Oh, oh no, this the jump. X. Be careful about it. And again, Piranha's doing a great job of constantly keeping Mothman guessing. Yeah, just the use flip there, but a nice go on Mothman. Should be able to close out Yuri for sure. All right, man, to go for the EX. Spends that little extra bit of meter, but it gets the job done. And for 38 seconds on the clock, he'll get a good chunk of life back. Nearly wrapping that Parage, just harassing the first hit of that Rekka. Right. Ooh. Flip. All right, decent amount of damage. What Benny Mar is basically known for, actually. He can get a lot done with very little. Oh, but the roll overhead, overhead. Can burn. Here we go, level one. Darth Renegade coming through with a $20 contribution to the Macherino. Thank you so much. For the Up with the oh, thank you. Right, trying to go for blowback, no one home. Nice, right, so we're neck and neck right now. Oh, but he gets him with the overhead. And the wake up EX. Oh, man. Stuff, Mothman. Jenny, Jenny. Yeah, bringing in B, Jenny. Put a lot of mirror to work with, too. Who can I turn to? <laughs> oh, spends the level one there. Just wants to close it out right away. I respect that decision a lot. Read. Because, again, Yamazaki with any type of meter can be a very, very big problem. That means he's going to bring us here to Anger. Wow, this Yamazaki color, though. I've never seen this color. And the stops, too. All right, I managed to get over it. This is an interesting matchup too, right? Because Yamazaki does have some pretty decent anti-air options, which is why you see Paraz not really going to the air as much as you would expect from him today. This is gonna hurt. Hit fire for into the EX stops. Let that meet. let that poison drain. The instant overhead as well. Great stuff there from Mothman. Weighing the risk reward had so much life that so just went for it. I will go so far as to say that. That jump D from Yamazaki might just be the single most disrespectful button in this game. Yeah, for sure. I mean, either that or the stomp. The stomp is good, too. Yeah. But also, I know what that Yamazaki, that Yamazaki color reminds me of old Joseph for some reason. <laughs> he just needs the hat and he needs gray hair and then you got it. Ready? Mm. <laughs> All right, so we're jumping right back into this. One on the board for Mothman. Good use of the anti air there, nice. Okay. Misread on the jump there, trying to go for the reflect play again. No projectile, what can we say? And there we go, goes for the Spider Man swing. Attempts to go for a cross up though, wasn't able to get far enough here. Great anti air. Alright, trying to catch a bluff there, I like it. Ooh, the cross up, but he can grab right and out of the way of it too. Trying to escape the corner, but I love that Peraz went for the roll backwards, right? Just trying to keep Mothman in that position. Mm. All the way home, left himself wide open. Big combo coming here. Oh, tries to go for the dive kick. It's a cross up again. Oh, didn't have any meter to go for the EX there to actually close out the round. So Mothman gets another chance at life. Uh oh. Level one won't be enough to kill either. We're down to the wire. Next interaction should decide it. Oh. He got heavy there. He got real <laughs> heavy. Right, but again, Mothman still holding on. Go up against this Keo now with just barely under 20%. Right, good defense. Ooh. No, That's didn't good for the Wow. Maybe he didn't believe it was actually going to hit, so did not commit. And now, Fair once enough. again, Mothman getting one more chance at life, and that chance is gone with a JB. All right, so, whip is down, but she did her work. Was able to take out Yuri and give Kyo a little bit of trouble, but still, what's enough to take him down with any health? Well played, CB here is going to give Baraz uh -huh. a solid life lead. 
And through Dark Cancel. Oh, left him so wide open after the slash. Holy. Ooh. Awful whip. Whip there coming out from Mothman. Unfortunate, but Faraz capitalizing on it. Mm. Okay, QDX DP there. Oh, tried to go for the JB cross up. It didn't quite work out. Was still able to maintain some pressure. It's like what I'm seeing from Mothman right now. Yeah, he's not over committing. He's getting his offense in. Once he realizes it's not picking up, he backs off. Yeah, and I like that a lot. But here, getting chipped out now, and Paraz is able to just keep up this pressure. Now here comes old man Yamazaki. With the immediate counter. Did drive it into the stop. And that boy's just taking away a little bit. Oh, trying to go for the parry this time, but is still able to land the throw. Empty jump to B, but doesn't get a full confirm. Got it. The patience. Mothman stood there menacingly waiting for Paraz to bite. Mm -hmm. Alright, but again, here we are back to Jen. And from what we saw from Mothman before, again, it would appear that in Mothman's hands, at least, Yapazaki has proved to be a decent counter for Vijane. Yeah, it's especially the way that Mothman is navigating in neutral against Janae as well, right? Not over committing to anything, but Faraz able to get a nice clean hit. Great corner carry on this. Let's roll with Thunder on that one, too. Level one, yeah, wants to get as much damage as possible on the board. They know all they need is one more touch. Alright, lower two foot, not able to get it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That All over with the crying at that point. Yeah, that was a really dangerous situation for Mothman as well because it was like, what can you really do there? You're about to get chipped out, so you have to try and make something happen. So tried to bank it all in on the jump, maybe try to get a clean jump to close out the round, but unfortunately, mm -hmm. Peraz was ready for it. Like I said, driven you learn, and after coming from that first matchup, yeah, there's nothing but the lesson to take away from it. Ready, go! All right, so again, we're back into this. It's tied the night, too. Congratulations, both players. Ooh, man, this is good, too. Gets the EX. Keeps it going. Gets a uh, nice grip of damage off that. Go for the sweep there. Is able to get over the fireball. Once again, Mothman not over committing to any option. Speak of the devil, though. Mm. Yo. Killtron, just follow. Thank you, little brother. Oh, tries to go for the hit there. It's not going to work. There's the demon flip in. Great throw tech, but the pressure is still on in the Izuna drop. In the back. And that line in the sand off of the reflected proto that's how from whip. Yeah, it was smart right, of Oh, yeah, that drop. Oh, but there we go. Run up 2D. Going to close out the round. A good solid performance there from Braz. Now or never. Ready? Go! Alright. Kiwi Strawberry Benamaro here. Good defense building up that fireball. Alright, Mothman waiting for the chance to strike like a viper in the sand. Gonna capitalize. Damage off of that. Smart to go for the level two as well. For a there. Nobody there for the Rajin 10. There we go. Catch with the 2D. And now, just Probably. like this, we are back yeah. to an even matchup. Mm -hmm. We both point characters taken out with 2D. What are the odds? <laughs> That's a double blowback on this one now. That's in the corner. Got to fight his way out. Right. Switch position. Right, good pickup there from Mothman. Nice 2D placement as well, going for the slicer. 
trade in the air. Both of them actually backdashing afterwards crazy space. What? What a punish after the guard cancel though. Wow. Gets a lot of corner carry on that. Oh, the edge grab as well. Same again. Our Mothman to predict that lower voter can come. Oh, right into level two, is able to combo afterwards and closes out the round. Mothman right. now sitting at set point. Anybody in still, Jenny coming up. And even though Benny Morrow still may have his work cut out for him, Yamazaki is behind him. We've been seeing Mothman's Yamazaki putting in the work tonight. Painless. All right, yep, and then, you know, we're back to square one once again, right? Here we go. Yamazaki versus Bijane, both of them with full health, nearly even resources. The closest we can get here. Mm. Runs up with grab, nice. It's in that corner position, gets with a low profile, into the combo. Rolling thunder, baby. Oh, the jump in again. And Paraz making up a huge life deficit. Ah, uh, but again, here comes the poison. Oh, unfortunate mm. whiff there. Could have nearly gotten killed for it, but Paraz wasn't ready to capitalize. Mm. It's a command grab. Just harassing these normals. There's the guard cancel through. Didn't have any meter, though. Ah. And Paraz able to close it out there 2 1 over Mothman. Mm -hmm. Good stuff from both players. Man. Both of these players definitely fall into that category. And I'm just looking at these teams right now. Damn. All right, so walk away to bring out the Kula, Janae, and Rock. Yuba going with Yashiro, Cronin, and the Janae. Right now, it's full of pressure, man. Yeah, cool pressure, oh. second to none here, especially her corner carry. Look at that harassing with those light normals, but utilizing the armor there. Great stuff from you. Mm. Oof, lots of loaded. Good pick up there as well. Okay. No use of frame trap on that one. Oh. That was a nice throw. Great answer. Oh, goes for the empty low there as well. The Juan, so smart, so ready to poke out with that 2B. Best 2B in the entire game. Strange little bit of stutter there. Yeah, and a drop combo too, and Yuba, Ooh. like a shark in the water, smells the blood and capitalizes, and Kula is on ice. All right, so now it is a... Uh... Not to discredit Yuba, but that wasn't what I was expecting to happen. So again, definitely points up for making it interesting. At the same time, we have to see what he can do against the speed net. Okay. And then another yes. interesting punish here too as well. Juan just right. kind of overextending in strange ways here and getting punished very heavily by Yuba. Ooh. He used to finish a nice DP as well. Go with the five feet. Oh! There we go. The sweep will be able to close out that round. Janae's going to gain a little bit of health back here. A nice grip thanks to the 44 seconds on the clock. Mm. Tron, I would have to agree. Ah, uh, yes. To me, do them. Just setting up that fireball already, just trying to prevent Yuba from running in, but that does not phase him. And one of the countermeasures that you can take against a you know, knowledgeable Cronin player is be the aggressor. Because you know, all Cronins, they have to come in. They have to constantly move forward. If you beat them at their race, get the advantage. But then stuff like this happens. Then you got to worry about that, right? The DP is the great equalizer, which makes that such a scary option. But now Juan is coming in with a rock with full bars. Five full bars to work with here. Ready? Mm. Right, so now the question is, can Wake Web make this comeback, or will you be able to stuff, you know, the young Howard? This go. is completely doable here, just needs one clean hit to get something started. It goes oh, nice quick cancel it. Stealing go the turn the back with the rising tackle and gonna spend all that cash. Oh, okay. Wasn't ready to you no know, punish that one. I can understand it. It's all right. 
Should be able to close this out here. Absolutely. Spends minimal meter to do it as well. And now we are down to the final characters. All right. Should get a decent grip of health back from 37 seconds. Not as much, but enough to keep it interesting. Ready. And as Team Garo facing off against each other, Juan opens up with the jumping CD. That needs to in the air. Good. Boom. Careful that no attempt punish. Back in the air to push back you know, the doctors from Shanae. Still harassing, chasing oh. down, but the guard cancel back is going to avoid the EX command grab. And Yuba is going to catch out a ton of damage here with the level 2. Oh, the chip. Yeah, you can't afford to be blocking that. All right, again. Hey, at least somebody's happy. <laughs> Says you got a long way to go if you're still distracted by my looks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love the win quotes in this game. They have so much personality. Oh yeah, man. That's the one thing that I will always give SNK all the credit in the world for. All of their characters have character. Yeah, and they they just have having so many characters in the game with so many different interactions is so much fun. But we're about to see some wild interactions here between Kula and Yashiro once again. Speaking of. Well, fine, I like it. Why could it be a little bit more measured? Not going for the like no long extravagant combos, just getting in and getting the damage. Yeah, it's got a lot of harassment here as well. Mm -hmm. And look yeah, at that, nearly it's okay. done for you, Bubble. Yuba wakes up with a nice throw. Mm, get start up on the nice little profile on that wake up. Nobody there for the frame trap though. Oh, she's sticking the foot out and flying above him, and Yuba had no answer for it here, just back mm. into the pressure. Simple kiss, will that be enough? And yeah, now you're in chip oh. range, you need to be very careful here. Shoulder charge in, lands the CD this time. It's time for Yuba oh. to get something started here. Off the ropes and putting on the pressure. Ah. Oh, tossing Ashiro to the back of the line. All right, but again, the Astro did the work. He was able to whittle time down below 25 seconds. Managed to get a good chunk of life off of Kula. Yuba could have an easy flex here. Again, could being the operative word. Yeah, nice. Oh, what a clean hop in there. Going to get a nice little punish. And of course, like Kula does every single time. Beautiful corner carry. Nothing goes for it again. Yeah, again. Thank y'all, everybody, who are redeeming these codes. It makes a difference, believe me. Only 23 codes remaining, so keep it up. And it you may oh. keep up this offense here. Lands the level two just at the tip. That was a little scary there. Mm -hmm. But I've got done. That's the important thing. Kula off the board, that's a tremendous amount of pressure you no longer have to worry about. But the devil you know is better than the devil you don't, or rather, the devil you've already fought in this case. That devil is coming out in the form of Bijane there, a little too far away to get to confirm on the standing normal, but alright, Cronin is gone, and Yuba has one more life left to live. The funniest thing that I've ever heard in reference to Vijanae is the fact that with the way that her buttons work, you might as well just call her C Janae and it would still make sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah smash C. Mm -hmm. Easy. Nobody has to have only thunder. I'm trying to go for these jump ins. Dark cancel. Oh, I'm still ready for it. Crumble immediately into the combo. Hard knockdown. Cancel. Ooh, level two. Once to end it well. right here. Shouldn't be enough though. Oh. Mm. Yo, I just lost my channel points. All right. This is Dude. just the start. Of the old expression: If looks get kill. <laughs> they will be, you know, again, they will be top ten most wanted. Absolutely. What a hell of a finish there with that combo. Mm. Going to go ahead and move forward on the winner side of the bracket. And we are getting closer and closer to our top eight. Select order. Again, I love it. And the fact that we're just still rolling, that we're not taking any major breaks. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you can't take a break during the broadcast, but just the fact that the top.
timing, the action, again, the excitement has just been nonstop. Yeah, I What's mean, not to love just, about this? Just a testament to our great production staff here and to the players checking in, getting their games on time, getting in the lobbies when we need them, keeping this machine running smooth. No, no fat, no filler, all meat here for you at TNS. As a natural-born carnivore, I could not be happier. All right, we're we going right back into this. And this time, we're rocking Kula versus BJN right off the bat. I need to get that no low pressure started. All right, gets the corner carry. All right. Yeah. that pressure on Juan. Not quite. There's a nice throw. Yuba trying to go for the cross up there, but Juan ready for it with the block. Just missed that one. Huh. Yeah, Yuba needs to be really careful about these trades now because he does not have any life to give at all. There's the back dash to create some space, gets the jump in. Staggered pressure, but you can't stagger it too much. Yeah. Good throw. Mm, trying to go for the EX, but Kula is ready with the no, neutral anti here. All right, so again, you know, Grape Soda Cronin on board right now. Wow, right into it. Oh, and then he will start. Coming out. All right, simple enough punish, but that one's pretty straightforward. We could all see that one coming. <laughs> Stand to Ready? Go. All right, there's the back dash immediately. Mm. Ooh, good jump in. Goes to the break. Into the thunder now. Jumps right into the DP though. Throws up the wow. level one. Beautiful timing there on Yuba's part. Got the meter right at the no second that he finished the DP. Back up. Oh, trying to call, uh, throwing out those buttons in the air there. It's just a little bit of a frame kill. A little bit of a mix up. And there's the run up bro gotcha. all the way from Southtown. Big, big punish coming. No. Oh, he goes to the neutral. Really? That was tragic. Oh. That is a game losing drop. Uh, that is. It's heartbreaking. It really, really is. Got me lead back in my chair right now. Now it's all up to Yashiro here for Yuba. And yeah, like I said, Mr. Nakase can't pull off some amazing stuff. Just to open up with a frame trap. Gets the cross up. Oh, but he doesn't capitalize. And goes the reset. Get the pressure on here. There we go. Oh, drops no. the super and just standing. See, punches are right in the dome. It's enough again. It's enough. That'll do, Bond. That'll do. <laughs> All right, but again, anchor on anchor action right now. And down to the wire. Oh, got the Trying clean go jump in, but wasn't ready. Ooh, and that is an optimal punish, right? Getting the JD jump in to beat out the DP, or to punish the DP, I should say. Go oh, he's going for it. Mm. Damage off of this one. And one solid confirming, Rock can be right back into this, so I'm not going to count him out just yet. Point. That's the first hit, right, that you need. Has plenty of meter to work with. One more touch might be able to close this out here for Juan. Mm. Oh, got him. Right to the level two. Raging Storm going to close it out, and Juan steals it all away there. Going up 2-1 over Yuba. Secret right. weapon, at least. Yeah, that pillow is strong. Is it full of rocks? <laughs> oh, sorry for the dash punch, though. Immediately getting aggressive. Here we go. And going for the no mix up there. And the DP. You don't even need meter to make that DP strong, but he's going to spend the meter this time to get the follow up. 
drop as well. Good use of the counter there. I'm not even I'm surprised it actually reached. Just harassing here with the fireballs, but Yurikov always finding the window to use that dash punch to perfect effect. Mm. All right, back is up against the ropes here. Pressure is on, just trying to poke their way out. Shadow Strike with, but it's not going to matter. Yeah. Thought you were doing something trying to go in with the EX, but yeah. You have to understand something. Wake up on the sleepy boy. Like, I don't need to fill that sentence in anymore, all right? It's dangerous. You don't want him to wake up. <laughs> Yurikov just keeping the pressure on, even when Lokov is able to escape, but barely just sticking out those light normals. Gets whacked right in the face, though, with a Shatter Strike now. is going to eat a grip of damage. So the reset as well, interesting. Oh, there's the follow-up on the dash punch. You have to be ready for that as well. Yurikov starting to mix things up. Mm -hmm. And again, this is what I was saying earlier. When he wants to put that wall up, when he wants to measure his opponent, he breaks out Mason Gun. Right, it's got to be simple, got to be quick. Oh, right, those are the anti-air pillow. He's able to catch the end of the guard cancel there, and we are down to the final character already on Lokov's side. Mm. And it's going to be Yamazaki coming in. Yeah, dangerous, dangerous man. There. I mean, look, he's built different, all right? His shoulder yes. is the size of his head. <laughs> And again, there it is. One of, again, the important tools in Yamazaki's moveset. Actually, I stand corrected. Like, Yamazaki basically has everything in his moveset, now that I think about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. He is a, such a strong character. Easily the best character to come out of Team Southtown. Mm. And now going up against Yashiro here. Yashiro coming in with two and a half bars. Has that quick max stance already. Opens up with a snake hand. It's that deep dive in. It's the EX grab, just pushing all the way back. Oh, that trade, 100% uh, no cost favor here. Gets the poison on deck. All right, man, just get the ants here. Picks it up. Oh, no, Lokov thought it was going to cross up. It got hit same side. Oh, this one. one. There it is. Yurikov going to take game number one here. Mm -hmm. And flex and the drop. Boom. <laughs> only when I crush you completely will I be satisfied. That's a little edgy, but you know. It's alright, Yashiro. That's the damnest thing with Yashiro because, like, the evil Orochi stuff notwithstanding, <laughs> he seems to be genuinely laid back. It's fun to watch him get irked by somebody. And what's crazy is that there aren't many people who can piss him off. I like, love the, uh, the voice line uh, when he wins and he mocks Shermie and he talks in the high pitched <laughs> voice. That one's yeah. so good. <laughs> Yo, oh, is that a... What is that? <laughs> oh, it's a bird. Okay. I thought for a second that emote was Yamazaki. I just saw the black shirt. <laughs> All right, so Lokov is going to switch things out. Bring in Luong. And I can't say that might be the... I'm going to be blunt. I don't think this is the best idea because he's bringing up Luong against Yurikov. Yurikov has had extensive experience with Luong. So he knows what to expect from her. Yeah, and it's going to be Luong up against Mei Kun, which also is a little bit challenging in its own right, right? Luong is really good at those cross-ups, but it doesn't matter when Mei Kun has that DP that hits 360. Eat. Right now, though, Gato is putting the pressure on Yashiro. Right. Oh, managed to go for the rollback. And do it, Antia kicks. I appreciate Trying to go for the air dash. I appreciate how Lokov is also rolling back just to create some space, right? Get Go back to neutral against Yurikov. Don't allow Yurikov to just keep running the offense, but it is not working out anymore, and Gato is so close to being done. The OTG does it. Mm. All right, so now, again, yeah, case in point, we're going to see how this plays out for Lokov. And he's bringing out a character against an opponent as, again, so much you know, knowledge and experience with set character. And here we go, keeping the 
pressure on. Plus frames there immediately lets up on the pressure as well. And you see Yurikov now knowing that Luan does have those long range normals and those long range special moves. They have a little bit of recovery from them, right? So why don't I create a little bit of space and try and get her to whiff? Yeah, this is where character knowledge makes all the difference. Oh, a clean jump in though, and Yurikov is hooking up an OCV right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got to deal with that wild snake. Good air blowback. Oh, he's going for it. Yeah, drag him across the ground, put him into the corner. Good answer, yeah. Ooh, beautiful use of the blowback. And manages to get the pickup off of him. Wow, the combo just keeps going. Yeah, Finally, it's see. over with the OTG. You're and I love got it when it comes to this character, man. All right, that's one character down. You got two more left to go, and you're not going to gain back too much health here if you're low cough. Mm. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Yeah, yeah this is a uh, tongue secret weapon right here. And I wouldn't even call it your cough secret weapon. I mean, if you don't know what your cough is capable of when it comes to mating, then you have definitely, you're the one that's been asleep. Yeah, and you saw in that situation too when Lokov actually blocked the dash punch, did nothing, right? Was afraid of the DP coming out. Be careful, man, again, yeah, Steve. Yep, that'll be enough. And there we go, and Yurikov is gonna move on to top eight winner side here at TNS. And again, I'm not gonna knock him. Like I said, look, there's nothing wrong with Twitter combos, it's hype as hell. But again, you gotta yeah, you gotta have the uh no gotta have again the follow through on it. Therein lies the rub. Right now, Reno going to start off here with Elizabeth getting pressured by Juan in the corner. Backdash should beat him the entire. Uh, go a quick little slap. Man, Reno, like Reno's Elizabeth has been utterly neutralized thus far. Yeah, it's just the movement by Juan has been next level, setting up that meaty fireball as well, just trying to get the chip out. And now Reno can't afford to block anything. And there it is, not gonna matter, gets caught. That's so yeah. Bouncer back on deck right now. No. Alright, Shiro coming in with the pretty Mercury jacket. Creates some space, gets a nice punish. How much meter are we gonna spend? EX. Right into level one, alright. Get the OTG. Every little bit counts. Tries to go for the overhead there, but Juan was ready to throw. Waiting in the wings. Mm. Trying to keep Reno here in the corner like a caged animal. Gotcha. The throw. And now the pipple that is Yashiro is loose. You need to be careful mm. about what you do to try and escape. And he's going to be there, and he's going to come at you every angle he can. Thank you, punish. X. Could have run a little bit further with that, but I'm okay with it. And the oh, wake armor. up EXDP gets the armor there and is able to get rid of Gen A. Right now, gonna go for the mirror match, but you know, one of these things is not like the other right now, so. Yeah, one of these things is gonna die in one hit. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, the DP coming out. I love the use of the armor. Alright, again, smart move to go for the rollback away after no having to go for the block strength. Yeah, you just want to create a little bit of space, try and force your opponent to overextend here. There's the guard cancel to get out. Juan does not want to allow Reno to rack up more damage on Yashiro. Ooh, but a quick hop A. That'll be enough. Reno now sent down to his anchor character here, all up to Ash Crimson. Has a lot of mirror to work with, though. And the B colors. Got out the Pamba. <laughs> Doesn't go for the LTG, but yeah, perfectly understandable. You don't want to eat a wake up there. 
land a hit, but jumps straight into the armor. And that is going to be the equalizer here, but there's the DP. Doesn't get any cancel, though, off the DP. Go. There we go. Quick mode confirmed. This should be dead. Are we going to get an install? Yep. yep, there it is. Okay. Hey, hey it work. closes it out. And again, light work, but it gets the job done. Still has enough meter to know if by chance manages to get the solid confirmed to double back on it. Ready, go. 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 Right, a little bit of harassment there with the 2B. Going into a little bit of this zoning game, but it's very difficult to zone against Rock. His fireballs are so good at anti zoning. Oh no. I can't imagine that's what Reno was trying to go for there. And EX grab. That will do. Yeah, Juan able to take it up one here in this matchup. Keep the faith though, Reno. I'm curious if we're going to see an order swap here possibly because Elizabeth kind of got run over. No, immediately goes straight into fight again. It's actually going to be Juan who goes to the order swap. Interesting. Very interesting. It's like, what could be going through Juan's mind? The guy who won the match, or the won the first match, oh. goes to order switch. Is actually going to put Rock, Rock on the back and BJ A on point. Hmm. Interesting. All right, now that's how it was before, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm mixing myself up now. That's that commentary brain rot, like a goldfish mm. brain. I immediately forget what I just saw. <laughs> Ready? Yes, it was BJ versus Elizabeth mm. first off. So this is the same order. I pull a fast one on a side one. Okay, I see how it is. All right, but again, Juan still bringing this A game, keeping Reno's you know, Elizabeth locked down in a corner. Yeah, just it's not far. allowing Elizabeth to get anything started, which is so strange because Elizabeth is pretty good under pressure and has great anti airs Hmm. Trying to go with the cross up. Right, throwing out the fireball there. Just a little bit of harassment with it. Throws out a 2B and he's going to get a huge punish off of this. Ooh, just a miss on that one. I'm surprised that didn't connect. Oh, but the rising. Just immediately rising there with the attack. Getting rid of Elizabeth now. Open her. Back down to Yoshiro. Nearly two bars. Oh, to answer your question on yes, yes you are. Yeah, we haven't even hit top eight yet. There is plenty of more KOF to come. Mm. So stay around and tell your whole family to tune in too. Mm. Everybody sit on and just, you know, put it up on the big screen. Let them watch something. Oh, there's the chase down as well. Wanted to make sure that he got that punish, and Reno finally is able to swat out Bijan A. Back into this familiar mirror match that we saw last time, even in health and in resources. This is the true mirror match. Oh, but the armor on the DP. Yeah, Reno's use of DP has been so good so far in this set. Gonna go straight into the level one super. Ah. Mm. G, overhead mix up there. Oh no, but wasn't able to actually convert. It's gonna eat a lot of damage for this. Depends on how much Juan is willing to spend. Are we gonna see level two? No, wants to hold on to it. Blame him. Yeah, that level two is not going to be guaranteed to kill, so holding on to it so you can close this out with very little meter. Even the level one wasn't enough. It jumps right into a close C. Mm. You got all of it on that one. And up again, the young Mr. Howard stepping up to the plate. All right, good ball back. Is he going to go for it? Yep. Yeah, light work. The job done doesn't have to be fancy, just has to be effective. All right, now down to Ash. 
It's all of Torino's Ash to pull through here. Mm, but again, a little bit too hard. Got too deep too quickly. Well, that backing up as well. Just making sure that Reno can't get a clean jump in or a DP. Juan letting a DP of his own rip. Missed the EX command grab, but that's all right. Recovers fast enough. Keep it again, Fred Draft. And that's going to be enough. And Juan KOF moving forward. So you again. said that was a top eight qualifier, correct? Yeah, another top go. eight qualifier there coming through. Say that could prop Yurikov up anymore. But now we have a cool of air. Good lord. Eggs own Tamago here up against AR Robert. Mm. That's some kiss now. As I say, every time I come across a mirror match, at that point, it doesn't matter about the character, it boils down to the player. Absolutely. You both have the exact same tools. It's just a matter of how you use them. Mago able to escape immediately rolling backwards as well. But Robert just chasing down to keep the pressure on. Doing what he can. Trying his best. But right now, Robert, again, getting a life lead. Hey, Oliver, thank you for the follow. Harassing with that 2B. That's all you need with all you need with cool is that 2B. It does so much work. And I said it's your all-purpose button. Yeah, it's putting in its 40 hours a week. There's the back dash. Trying to be careful. Trying to be delicate. Oh, there it is. Gonna kill, but again, we're getting down to it. Right. Does actually. Okay. Wow. Able to close that out there, getting rid of uh, one Akula Diamond. But there's still <laughs> another left on screen here with AR Robert going up against BJ. And really quick, smart move from AR Robert to go for the EX to make sure it got the win. Back. Oh no. And there's the punish. Oh, but wake up 2A. Really Ooh. interesting there from Tamago, but the Tatsu Ooh. right over the grounded fireball. And the DP. Okay. That had to have been a missed input. It had to yeah. have been. You know who didn't miss the input, though? Tamago. That's who did miss the input. Absolutely not. Ready? Go. And start off, and again, gets a two piece right there. Two piece and the biscuit. Oh, nobody there. Odd, odd autocorrect there on the Rolling Thunder. All right. Able to get the frame trap. Gets the cross. Ooh. Dude, what a disgusting cross up. Right where it needs to be, man. Hmm. Yeah, so overhead keeps that damage. And yeah. 5D. Going to be enough. Push him all the way back. Uh, AR Robert. Having to juggle things up now. Brought down to his anchor. All right, jump CD immediately. Robert's got to bring this all back with Cronin. But has three bars in a dream here. Nice counter hit. Runs right into a DP. Spends only one level. Backing that up. Mm, and still manages to get pick up off of the midair blowback. Stuff. Got me the classic KOF 15 matchup here. Cronin v. Cronin. And also, Ryoko, to answer your question, Gato is very, you know, high tier, but I will not go so far as he is top tier right now. Can change in the you know, near future, though. For sure. There's only a few really top, top tier characters, and you're seeing one of them on screen right now. Yeah. I want to make a joke and say you're seeing both of them on screen right now, but that would be a little on the nose. <laughs> and there's the DP coming out. Goes straight into the level one. Almost about 50%. There's a nice throw, okay. though, coming out from Robert. Neither of them want to overextend, and that's why there. That DP is just such a potent tool. Level one, just enough to close it out there, and Tamago takes game one. Mm -hmm. And from a champion caliber player, 
not surprised. At the same time, though, his opponent, A.R. Robert, still taking it to him and taking him down to the wire. But now we're going straight into game number two here. No changes at all, just jumping right into it. There's the ice first blood. Run up throw. Just harassing again with that 2B. Good job though staying just outside of the ice breath range. I like that a lot in the approach. Mark. Go. And this is to confirm. Hard knock down in the corner. Goes for the walk up throw. Good wake up. And just all this harassment here with these light jumps. And they're just whittling each other down. Finally, a confirm comes out. This time from Tamago, able to get rid of Robert's Kula. It's funny. It's like, you know, I want to say as tame as that may have appeared. That was basically the equivalent of two middleweight boxers standing in the ring. Just, you know beating the hell out of each other with that matchup. Yeah, for sure. It's all about spacing. Mm. Oh, oh, no. A little too far away, though, for the 2C to connect. Interesting exchange. Defense. Top reset in. Gets the raw overhead. Yo. Not spending any meter at all. Gets the neck breaker. Mm. And you know what? That's why Robert's there and I'm not. Ten point. Now going up against Bijene. And Robert's looking really good with this Gato. I mean, honestly, I'd say that Gato is probably Robert's strongest character here. That's far, yeah. So, so, Gavilon, thank you for the follow. In the air. Great button placement, though. Able to relieve a little bit of that pressure. Shatter strike. Into the super. Empty jump into the low. Still not Down deep. yet. Very conservative with the meter. Able to get the chip out and nothing excess. Coming through with a $50 direct contribution to the match rail. I hope you're feeling better, homie. Brother, thank you again. Get well soon. All right, so again. Dash. Tamago is sitting on a lot of cash here. Ooh. Gonna get the chance to spend it though. That's the main question. I know it's burning a hole in his pocket here. Yeah, Robert with a fake out. And there's yeah. the fire coming out. Straight into the gunshot too. What? What a call out! The run up backdash there, able to get the sweep as well. Beautiful. Had to do it, to do it to him. So again, if you use glass, it's gonna break first. Mago holding on to that meter, smart. I like that. Here we go. Roll away. Bates out. Just in time. Tamago's, Tamago's bait game right now is absolutely off the chain, and that is going to allow Tamago to go up 2 0 and qualify for top eight winner side. Again, you might as well call him Tackle Box with all the bait that he got. All right, so now, get out Mr. Higashi. Oh, I love it. Joe coming out. I'm going to stick a pin a in this. Of... Yeah, I'm going to stick a pin in this because I got something to say about Joe, but first get this match done. All right. I think Joe is still a very strong character that's just really yes, underutilized. he is. Going up against Mirage, though. He's locked down in this corner. Oh, it's the DP his way out. Oh, what a guard cancel, though, through the fireball. A call out and a nice punish as well. Keeping the pressure on with the short hop JB. Gets the grab. X, man. Better learn it. And now it's time for Gato to come in. But Paras is pretty much dominating that very first match there. Hmm. Let's see if they can keep it up against Gato. 
Harasco with the two A. Yeah, I'll have to it. All right, roll backwards, create a little bit of space, relieve the pressure. An opportunity there for it. God, gets him with the overhead. And the jumping CD immediately combos into EX legs. How long can he keep you in the air? Good air there, I like it. Oh man, and the unfortunate thing here is Grenyas is getting these jump-ins, but it's just not confirming off of them. True. A lot of damage being left off the table. Oh, and what? Speaking of confirms, yeah. how the hell do you confirm into that? That's oh, Barrage, man. Man, that overhead, that overhead, that overhead. Yeah, coming in clutch there at the end to close out that round. And Paraz is working on a Kyo CV here. Just needs to get through Cronin. It has to be on his P's and Q's, though. Good defense. And gotta be careful. That guard meter is whittling down. Oh, had the guard cancel backwards, actually, or else they were going to get guard broken in that string. Yeah, blow back. All right, neutral hop there. Needs to be careful about going into the air, right? You're going up against Granius here with five bars. Now, you know that DP is coming out eventually. And there was the roll backwards to bait out the DP. Does it again. Right now, Faraz is doing a great job of taking the fight out of the dog by not playing into Cronin's game plan. I know, just being very patient. And the thing here is that Paras can afford to just let the clock run down, has three characters. It's true. But Grenius really needs to make something happen here. Oh. 15 seconds on the clock, it's not looking too good. Mm. There we go. It's level one, but you're gonna get really no health back there with nine seconds. You know what? It's a moral victory. And we take those. And thank you so much, Angel Avenger. And thank you again for the massive contribution to the match arena. We appreciate you tuning in and supporting the community. Oh, so, that's should be it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right into the knuckle. Mm -hmm. Level two. Paraz takes game number one. And Angel Avenger going through a 20 gifted subs truly an actual angel on our shoulder not only donating a hundred dollars to the match room at the start of this tournament but coming through with 20 gifted subs thank you so much i don't even know what to say thank you so much all right so now that we got this one little break what i have to say is this everybody slept on joe in the beginning save for a handful of people i remember this very clearly all the way back in december once we got a breakdown of how the engine was going to work in 15, I knew then Joe was going to be a headache. I have it on record. I even have people with screen caps of me saying this way back in December. I had to get that out of my system. So there, there was a short amount of time where Joe was being played by a lot of the top players, and then they just kind of like dropped him off. And not much changed about him. He just lost his like 100% stun combo. Mm -hmm. And like I said, just because he doesn't have to 100% doesn't mean he is any less dangerous. But right now, Kyo is absolutely dangerous in the hands of Faraz. Chasing down, but jumps right into the DP. Oh, that's good. All right, decent trade. Another DP coming out here from Super Grenius. Trying to go for the cross with the JB, but Faraz rolling out. Not willing to hold any of that. A little bit of harassment there. Gets the overhead. Once again, starting again with that overhead, but wasn't able to confirm and continue. Oh, and the measured, the measured neutral coming out here from Super Grenade. Yes, look at that. Noticing that Faraz was able to get back. I have the life lead. I'm just going to hop around. See what you're going to do, right? You can approach me. Again, <laughs> I, I want to say something really, really stupid right now, but I got to keep it to myself. <laughs> oh, it's the throw. Time's running out. The overhead, overhead comes out. Again. Ooh. Ooh, and 
I love that. Definitely going, look, I'm going to run away. Psych, right? <laughs> Hey, but nice. here comes Joe. Hey, Joe Higashi. Tomorrow's Joe. All right, get the jump CD. Run up CD. Trades with the Rekkas there. Oh, what a roll back to bait out the Tiger Knee. It's the reset as well. This damage gone. Again, has to take the chip. Yeah, that was really smart to go for EX Fireball, right? Even though you weren't, you were the one being pressured, EX Fireball forces them to have to figure something out. They're either going to block it and die, or they're going to get hit and die. Mm -hmm. Rollback, manages to pick up the throw. Pull out, I should say. Trade in the air. Para is going to back off a little bit and immediately runs in behind the Fireball. Back it up. Force that neutral. Oh, I love that. Oh, Danyas is ready for it. And the tiger knee, too. You're not jumping over my fireball. Mm. I love the aggressive guard cancel, too. Keeping Rock locked down, but unfortunately takes the corner and allows Rock to escape. Yeah, back against the wall. Rock cancel backwards. The thing though about Joe is that even if you go full screen, you are not relieved from the pressure. You have to hold against, hold on to those tornadoes. It's, uh, it's you know, the thief coming in the cover of night. In this case, the cover of wind. Oh, oh. didn't have the to go for the EX overhead kick, but it's not going to matter. The shoulder is going to do it. Mm -hmm. And so now. Renuous. Bring it out again, the great Kool-Aid, you know, Cronin. Yeah, and on their last life too, Peraz is sitting at set point. Ooh. But just like that, we are going down to the anchor war here, Janae versus Cronin. Mm. Yeah, here is a battle a of top of tiers, man. <laughs> yeah, this is for sure top tiers. And then you throw Cool in there, and there's your triple top tier. And, uh, this is going to be as calculated as possible in this match. Oh, the EX Fireball is actually going to land. Bates out. Ooh. That was so diabolical from Paraz. <laughs> Staggering the air movement there to bait out the DP and getting a massive punish. And I believe you coined it a little bit earlier in this match. Heavy duty Paraz is happening right now. On screen against Super Grandes. For sure. Super roll back. And I bar again. Any confirm. So Super Grandes is going to end this match. And you can see Paraz is just being incredibly patient here. No. The one second that they overextend. Not the kill, <laughs> but we get one more mix. Oh. Karaz can't let this one slip away. It's so close to qualifying for top eight. Oh, no. Ooh. You can't roll through all of the gunshots like that. And Super Grenyes ties it up 1-1. One, one. Understand what he was shooting for. Respect the decision. It did not plan out, but I have to commend the bravery. Yeah, I do. I... I Definitely respect going for it there. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to just sit there and block it. Yeah. Excellent choice, Kelly. Round one. Ready? Go. All right, immediately starting off with the Rekka. Okay. And right now, Kenny is locked down in the corner. Half that guard meter already gone. Good use of the reversal DP. Has been really utilizing the reversal DP to good effect as this has gone on longer. Be some pressure there. Right, Paraz just saying, jump CD, hold down the neutral for me. <laughs> Stop sign in the air. Right 
now these two again just slowly picking each other apart but neither going really hard right now yeah, no, it's just a lot of whittling down here with a lot of these light normals. But here's a big starter, though, with a CD into the wall. Goes into the level one. Pick up. Round. Also, again, Mike TV, thanks for the follow. Good patience here, though, from Paraj. Gets the throw, went for the low committal 5B. And again, the thing that I just appreciate about these two playing right now is the fact that they are getting the absolute most out of every match. Taking it down to the teens as far as the clock is concerned. Alright, Joe going for the jump in there. Keeping the pressure on. Canceling the CD straight into the fireball. But now Paraz is doing a lot of work here with that 5B, right? Just a very long range checking the opponent. Yeah. Not having that low record today. Here we go. Tries to get for the cross up there. Not going to work out this time. Oh, the 5B. And following up the 5B with the standing CD. Armors through oh. with the Rekkas. And again, send that line and send out. Oh, no. Super Grenias was trying to call out the jump and just spent all of that meter is going to pay for it. Yeah. Oh, they just go for the quick after jump and get that knockdown. Nice. Still in this here. But throwing away all that meter is so brutal because yeah. now you have to go up against Rock. Three bars down. Awesome. I cloud Sushi. Thank you. The more the merrier. Oh, I love the use of calling out the guard cancel there with the tiger knee. It's worked pretty much every single time for Grenius. Just again, going overboard and doing the work, but again, Joe holding his own against a high tier rock tower. It's really just putting up this wall of jumping CD, right? That Paraz is trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to navigate all these jumping neutral buttons? Finally finds the spot to do it and gets rid of Joe. He had to go down eventually, but damn. And now it's all up to Cronin here. Set point once again. It begins. But for level two this time, actually. Tries to go for the empty jump and he gets tossed for his troubles. Rage run straight into the palm and Rock's gone. And now we are down to final game, final round. Uh, get the feeling we're going to be saying that a lot in the coming minutes, but yeah. Final round. Ready? Go. Anchor on anchor. Grania starting off really strong here with a massive life lead. 35% already. And it's so dangerous here because if you're Paraz, you have to be careful with every single interaction that you have with Crone, and he can just let the DP rip at any time. And you have to respect his wake up too. Well, which again is sadly ironic considering how disrespectful he himself is, but nonetheless, he's still putting in the work. Yeah, he is looking really strong right now. Has another bar, and there it is. Able to close it out 2-1 and qualify for top eight winner side. Loading straight into it. Kula versus Gen A. We go. The top tiers fighting once again. Yeah, I said, if you want to win, you got to play it like that. But I think saying that you can't bring your own flavor to these top tier characters. Oh, no. There's definitely a lot of player expression to be had in KOF. Except for Kula. I hate her. <laughs> her, her, her player expression is to be. Oh, yo, Omega Terry, if Shen ends up in 15, it's a wrap for so many other people. I'd say put my boy Marco in, but we're getting Garo too. <laughs> but all right, everybody and wow. Needs to, yeah, everybody needs to let Marco run wild, all right? I'm just going <laughs> to leave it at that. All right, look at this. Look at the way Yurikov is just running away and sticking out those buttons. I love it, but Tamago chasing him down. Mm. There. They both know what to say. Correct me if I'm wrong. How far, how high up is the match real thus far? Oh, $249. <laughs> 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 
And there we go. That's what I'm saying. See, I told y'all we were going to get to 250. I knew you could do it. Uh, 10, 10 seconds left on the clock. And they're just teching throws back and forth here. Time is running yeah. out. That throw is still not going to do it. Tries to go for the meaty. There's the roll through. Ooh. One second left. Tamago. I'm not having any of this. Wow. Oh, at the <laughs> buzzer. Okay, MJ. That shoots, and that's the round. Still, BJ is not healthy at all going into this mirror match here. Ooh, looking a little gaunt. Yeah, literally just that neutral is going to be so, so important in the next couple of seconds. And there it is. And that's going to be a full health Jene on Tamago's side here going into the middle war. A little bit different though. Yashiro coming in. We've seen really good use of Yashiro's armor so far tonight. True. And Yurikov is great at anti-airs as well with all of his characters. Starting to harass here. Nice 2C coming out. Yep. Yeah. Nice Oh, and I love that. The run forward, 5A straight into 2B. Going to close out the round in very stylish fashion. And again, this is one of the tactics that's making Yurikov such a threat whenever you come against him. The fact that he juggles his orders so often definitely keeps his opponents on their feet. As you get the jet stream, nice. Oh, has to eat this punish. The X overhead kick. Gonna hold on to the meter there. Just wants to keep the pressure on with the safe jump. Mm -hmm. Over. Good answer there from Tamago. Yurikov just trying to find a way out of the situation. Gets reset into a low. And that's going to be the end of Yashiro. It's all up to Mating Kun now in this anchor war. Yeah, like I said, we've seen what Yurikov can do with an anchor. Mason Kuhn. And so it begins. Ooh. Close enough. That was an odd little trade, but okay. Alright. Just putting on that damage there with the Raging Storm at the end. Just lock it in, man. Yurikov still sitting on a lot of meter himself. He can make this comeback. Just needs to win out in the neutral here. Mm. And Tamago is being so patient. Ooh, here we go. And then land it, and right. there we go. Tamago going to take game number one. And like you just said, Tamago being patient against Yurikov's mates and crew. It's generally the best way to deal with it. Sure. Kyle capitalizes on other players' aggression. He has a charge character. He can punish almost immediately. Slow things down. Take that aggression out of the equation. And now you have an opportunity to gain the advantage over Mason Kuhn. And not only that, too, but Yurikov really excels in those scramble situations also. Yes, he does. All right, label time. Thank you for the follow. The back dash, but jumps straight into a DP this time. Mago harassing with the ice breath and just letting an EX Tatsu rip. And just trade here. All right, ice breath. Right away. Going home for the Shadow Strike. Again, harassment there with the low normals. Tries to go for the jumping CD, gets tossed. Well, that's a couple of jumping attempts, but again, no one home. Backdash, creating some space, relieve this pressure once again. Turn that valve down. Eight seconds left on the clock. 
Yeah. has got a gift. They really have been stressing this timer here, taking mm. their time in this matchup and in this neutral. There's the run under, but Tamago answering with a DP. I for it. Not happening. Man, just connect on the last few hits. And the DP once again. That was actually a great call out from Tamago. If you recall, mm. blocked the DP, they were going to get chipped out. Point. Stuff there. As this case, it's up to Kula, no, Tamago's Kula, to get as much work done here as possible. You don't have to worry about winning the war, he just has to take the battle. Oh, good stuff. That grip of damage on that, and keeps Yurikov on his toes. Oh, Yurikov trying to go for a reversal there, but getting stuff out. And Kula, the snowball, is just starting to roll in Tamago's favor. And a trade, though, this time going to pay off for Yurikov, but at what cost, right? Lost so Indeed. much health there. Yeah, it was the cornered mouse scenario, and it's not one you want to deal with, especially in KLF. Locked it up. Right. Yep, the CD also at the end, just to keep the pressure on. And, but you have to respect the tool that these two are bringing to the game right now. And this is incredibly high level. This is why these two are in top eight winner side. And now down to Bainton Kuhn. This is Yurikov's last life. Beautiful jump in, goes for the quick cancel. Oh. Gonna cash out, straight into the climax. He's awake! Mm. Right, time to go back to sleep. Wow. Um, with the immediate shout back. Go. To make this count. And, and corner pressure adding up. Not overextending too much. Oh. Backing up. But there's a clean jump in over the DX. Fireball. There's a punish. All right. Down to our anchors now. All right. You're looking, looking to tie this up. Oh, what a call out there with the air fireball. Being very patient. Both of them actually being very patient here. Neither one wanting to overextend at all. Oh, but utilizing the dash punch just to get underneath Tamago while they're in the air. Very smart stuff. Oh, he's not able to get all of it. No. Right. Good stuff there. And that's going to do it. All right, so Tamago is going to knock Yurikov down into losers. But Yurikov, yeah, Yurikov is... Most slouch. Most TNS wins out of anyone in this bracket. So, <laughs> well, I mean, if I was a gambling man, a uh, gambling man right now, I just lost the house. Yeah. But now here we go, Juan versus Super Granius. Super Granius keeping that pressure on here with Gato has Joe on the middle position here instead of on point. Looks like feels like Gato is maybe the better matchup against Kula. There we go. Then it's locked down in the corner, but again, pacing himself. Again, with another one of those beautiful, you know, reversal DPs. Yeah, and you saw that was waiting for it, right? It was just waiting for the moment that Juan came in, but there we go. Juan able to get the throw, harassing with the ice breath, plus frames. There's nothing you can do here. Actually, Omega Terry, that's kind of a great idea for uh, for notifications, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk Tom about that one, a breaking news for sub notifications. 
Right, so yeah. Wonkwef gonna take that one out, but again, Mighty Joe coming on screen now. Wow. Stop that right away, man. I mean, good use of the cancel there. Cancel gets a clean punish mm. with the Shatter Strike. Gets a reset Follow. here as well. Ooh. A little okay. bit of a messy reset, but that's all right. Yeah. Oof. Tiger Knee gonna close that out. Joe putting yeah. in the work immediately. Might as well just be like, you know, Super Grandmaster's special ability there, the reversal DP. Uh, for sure, it's been really on point with all of them. Oh. Again, I have to. Uh, I hate myself for what I'm about to say, but okay, I guess we clearly know who blows harder of the two, so yeah. <laughs> Fireball coming out, just keep the pressure on. Get the quick, you know, get the quick in and out combo, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I was able to get that cross up, but didn't get a full confirm off of it. Look at the guard gauge, there it is! And happened. Joe is out of here. Happened. Finally happened. For too long, and again, now we've got glass on the floor. It's seven years of bad luck, Joe. <laughs> Probably explaining why things never work with Lily. So that's on you. Dang, the shade like that. <laughs> oh, here we go. On. Eating a DP here in the corner. Go for that stomp, three bars. Oh, stop three times. <laughs> oh, and there's the answer with the two A. All right, gonna show my age right now, but again. Got Cronin singing that Tony Orlando. Stop three times. All right. Ready? Go. That's how you start a no round right there. <laughs> All right, just trying to throw up that jumping CD there as a wall to stop Super Granius from approaching. But there we go, just pulling out the gun. Lower the clip on that one. Oh, and a backdash to avoid the command grab here. <laughs> Gotta go for the level one DP super. Brandon's like running him down. That's gonna do it. Oh, yep, coming through. That was a nail biter. Keep an right, eye so, on yeah. One on the board for Super Grandis. And again, impressive fashion. Yeah, always going down to the wire in a lot of these matches as well, but is able to pull it out clutch with that Cronin. Let's see if we're gonna get any switches. No, immediate rematch. I said. I can't help but shake the feeling that there's a hint of revenge in how quickly that was picked. <laughs> Round one. Ready? Go. All right, 2A, 2A. Just get that confirmed. All right. Start up. Nice. Oh no. no, the whiff DP. This is gonna be hell to pay now. Alright, doesn't need to go for the super cancel. Just takes the grip and keeps it moving. Oh, but what a roll through on the ice breath attempt. Juan getting a little too predictable with some of these block strings now. You got it for it, buddy. Oh, wow. <laughs> the DP cancel immediately into the level one. And the jump down stop sign, that is going to be enough. Hard fought victory, but again, uphill battle now. If Super Grandness can get some life off of Milwaukee you know, West Virginia, it would we'll be worth it. It's not looking wow. too good for that prospect right now, though, but a DP coming go. out could change that. Uh oh. Right, but again, like I said, win the battle, don't worry about the war. Grand Nels has got to manage to do the work, took Jenny down a good peg, still has a life lead in his favor. And now has Joe here. But Joe starting off this round on his back. Gets the cross Ooh. up. Diabolical once again. Oh, that one, man. 
right into the level two. Wants to close this out as fast as possible, putting the pain on the Joe. Oh, and dances on him with the drill. I mean, uh, we really don't get to see Janae's air throw too often. I imagine some people even forgot she has it. Is the record broken? Damn, jeez. Same three sound bites. Oh, there we go. The fireball coming out again. I love the attempt there. It tries to do it again to get that low crush punish, but isn't going to quite work. <laughs> Just keeps going for it. It's going to work eventually, right? <laughs> and there's the guard cancel. Get off me and get in the corner. Hands off the merchandise. Going for the block screen right there. It's damn sure that car meter got real, real limp. And man, they could just not open each other up right now. Oh man, like At all! Is... Even blocking the cross up. Come on, someone get hit. <laughs> Some Fort Knox stuff going on right now, man. This is too secure, too locked down. <laughs> Please, somebody get hit. There's nine seconds on the clock, for God's sake. Literally winding this down. And again, I said this is going to be in Watt's favor. There we go. Spending it all. And is able to go. close it out with three seconds, tying it up 1-1. One, one. Oh, man. I'm <laughs> going just down to the wire now. Is that the result of both players playing chicken? Or were their collective defenses simply too good? I mean, it's true, right? Both of them did not want to overextend at all. But even when we know the mix up, we know the defense was good because we saw the cross up just get blocked like it was nothing. Oh, Smoke Rodeo. Thank you, man. Although, small correction, this is actually my first time at TNS. But thank you nonetheless. Here we go. Jumping into the final game. Round one. Maggot Terry, that's what I'm talking about. You don't see it often enough. <laughs> right, here we go. Cross up starts it up. Use of that two way. <laughs> Alright, you know, again, I stand by my statement earlier. There's a little bit of revenge in that no fight again selection. <laughs> Super Grenia's angry here. <laughs> That, uh, somebody had a point to prove there. <laughs> All right, straight to the second round. Okay. Juan is the one who gets yes. the first blood this time, just slowly DNA walking striking again. To All right, jumping in, tries to go for the cross up. It's always a problem though when you try to cross up your opponent and corner yourself. We go. Yeah, oh, one has to be careful. Another 2D Vitair coming through, working out really well. Craziest thing is that, yeah, with Super Grand and his Gato, one thing that I'm noticing, and this is. Um, this is not a design flaw. This is just a design limitation. The range on Gato's normals is the only thing that's keeping Juan KOF alive right now. Yes. <laughs> that short range, right? Mm -hmm. That's the one weakness that Gato has. That he's a little stubby here. And look at that. The whiff punish coming through. Grenias' nice Gato hope. is down. Uh, but again, here comes Mighty Joe. No Joe. Knowing is half the battle here. Yeah, like I said, beautiful, beautiful tactic there. Using the cover of the you know, Hurricane Up just to get in. But now, back into the corner now, up against the ropes, goes for the guard cancel into the throw. Jumping back CD. Up. 
Oh! Wow. That was actually perfect because I feel like there are a few characters who can get over that EX Fireball, right? But when you choose to use your option to get through that EX Fireball, Joe's going to be recovered in time to punish you for that. For yeah, better man, options, walk it. There's a damned if you do damned if you don't, you know, scenario. Mm. Damage out, yeah. Raging Storm. Wow, good use of the roll there. Oh, wow, the rising tackle coming through, and we are down to final game, final round here in our top eight winners. I we were going to repeat that. Ow. Oh, I had the EX grab to go with it. Jesus. Back it up and run out. Juan KOF turned this round really fast. And look at this being incredibly patient as well. Just sitting back, notices how much meter Granius has and does not want to overextend. Just gonna let that clock run down, right? No reason, no reason to go in at all. Says if you want to run out the clock, we can run out the clock, buddy. There we go, Granius is going to be able to take it 2-1 over Juan KOF. Moving forward in the winner side of top eight. Similar team composition here. And by that, I mean got to one point. Oh. Oh, damn. I heard this one in a minute. <laughs> I'm trying to get it across. Oh, okay, with the 2B. Nice. Oh, and I love the neutral jumps there. Just neutral jump CD is a, a wall to stop your opponent from approaching. You see that a lot here. It will get the frame trap. Another frame trap coming through. Ooh. The CD is going to be beat out this time, though, by the 2B. Beautiful use of paint, but again, the pickup. And the conversion off of this. Man, keep your opponent guessing with got some. Oh, that wake up DP. Not having it tonight. Able to close out that round. A little messy, but you know what? We take that. Hmm? Right, harassment here, but Robert able to find the way to escape there just with one well-placed 5B. Sent right back into the corner, able to cross underneath. Beats out oh. the EX Palm with the Tatsu. What the hell was that exchange? Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, Lokov killed this girl. <laughs> oh, the still managed to pick it up. Unbelievable. And we're going coast to coast just like that. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Ice Breath comes through, rolls back to try and bait out the DP, lets out a DP of his own. There we go. And yeah, there we go, nice reversal. Uh. Oh man, Lokov is just really holding his own though with barely any health left. It's all adding up and there's the Shatter Strike. Get out of here, Kula. We're done with you. Mm, 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 mm. I can I will say with full, full, no, strength. Shatter Strike is my favorite new mechanic. It's a Absolutely lot of fun. Absolutely love it. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. Whew. Oh, and there's the DP coming out. Five bars on Robert's side. And Lokov has to be careful. DP coming through. Actually doesn't spend any of the uh, any of the meter for a level one. As he didn't go for the stop after that, to be frank. Yeah, just kind of let it end. Still harassing all these normals. Far enough away. All right, he closes out. Besides, not he wants to still hold on to the meter. Wow, Jimmy, I like it. 
And that was a perfect. That was a perfect mm -hmm. as well for Cronin there. Now has to go up against the anchor Yamazaki. Final round. Ready? Go. And the crazy thing is that even at this snow, even with this much health, most players are one in no one touch away from dying, so <laughs> That is the scary part about anchor characters in this game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, Especially I miss Harry and Ralph. <laughs> Just missed that one. Make this count. That right to the gunshot, and there we go. Yeah. Really good at skeet shooting. Yeah, definitely shout out to y'all Robin on that one, because it comes to a point where if you're dealing with an anchor Yamazaki, if you have to touch him more than twice, you lose. Right? Yes. I know how definite that sounds, but again, believe me, if you don't kill him in those two touches, he's going to take the fight. And we're actually going back to the character select here. I wonder if we're going to see any substantial change. Geese. Hot diggity damn. Hold up. <laughs> Geese Howard himself? Mr. Howard Sr.? Oh, the South Town, man. And putting him on point to go up against Gato. Oh, this is. This yeah, yeah, is Lokoff. Yeah, Lokoff is trying to say something right now. Yeah, does Lokoff know something that we don't? Everybody paying attention. Okay. Yeah, I know. Crazy that they put Geese from Tekken in this game, too. All right, there's the Rabukin. Yeah, good hands here. Unfortunately, back up against the wall here. Sent right back down and trying to escape. Standing D, just throwing out that roundhouse. Mm, jump stuff, nice. Wow. <laughs> oh no, Robert put himself in the corner for free. Ooh. The deep option gets the pickup. Predictable. Damn. Oh no, the low crush though coming through with the 2B. Spencer the Raga, nice. Oh. You know what? Geese, Geese is cool though. I have to ask this. Like, just exactly how active was that crosser? Because he was damn near already on the ground when he hit. I mean, that, that button definitely has a chunky hitbox. Right. Go to the demon the step there, but again, you want to go up in the air. I'll put you up in the air, all right? Yeah, look at that guard gauge, though. Lokoff being very patient runs right into a standing CD. Oh, that's the tip of the DP hits. Can we, can we talk about how good Robert has been with these 2B placements? Just low profiling so much stuff. It has been his, you know, I want to say that it's been his, you know, rook on the chessboard thus far, considering that we're at the training level. But yeah, he's really, really been getting a lot of mileage out of it. And speaking of 2B, here comes in the queen of 2B herself. Oh, yeah. Through this game, we're all just cameos in it, basically. <laughs> Oh, the trade. trade there. Gonna work out for Lokoff, though. Was able to try and get some pressure started in the corner, but Robert immediately moving out of it. Alright, DP on wake up. Get off me. Alright, uh, the right? I have the meter to close this out? No. And this is where it gets a little difficult, right? Is Gato with his stubby normals having to deal with these really long reaching uh, standing B and 2B from Kula? Uh, Phoenix Ron, thanks for the follow. And the fact that, like, Lokov is just hanging on as long as he has been with this Gato. Part because, again, he's, you know, putting up a good fight. Also, part because A.R. Robert is kind of playing with his food right now, so. And there's the DP coming out. And mm. now Robert is down to set point. Mm. Indeed. Call up to the Yakuza himself, Yamazaki. 
Well, I will drop there. Oh god, I got hit with the snowman. Damn it. Not like this. The guard cancel on the standing CD. Not going to allow Lokov to escape. Mm. Right. Kick right into the corner here. Hold on to that poison. All oh, the run up throw. It's getting tense here. Super. And there it is. Robert takes it 2 oh over Lokov here, eliminating Lokov from the tournament. YouTube's how you found us to begin with. Happy to hear that. The YouTube definitely helps for us, so make sure to throw a subscription that way if you guys haven't. It helps us out more than you could imagine. So again, this is the winner's final. For everybody that's watching, this is going to be three out of five, so don't forget. And we're going the distance here. Mm. Yeah. Nice little crown of damage. Oh, oh no, that is not a good way to start this off. Goes to the ice breath to get the crumple and closes out the round with EXDP. Yeah. All right, so again, Princess keeps moving. And she take the crown. Yo. Right into the level one. Joe has good corner carry as well. You gotta hold that. Ooh, but the best corner carry is putting yourself in the corner. Manage to connect. With a jump in. To the corner you go. There's the roll through, gets a clean punish with the close C. <laughs> All right, and the, <laughs> the tiger knee coming through. Very consistent with landing those. Wasn't expecting that EX Hurricane Upper to no, connect. Play. Didn't get all of it on that one. Me too. So, how is Brandon going to play this? The character deficit, but he's got enough meter to really, really ruin Rock's Knights. Again, just this harassment with this 2A, just trying to bait Kamago into pressing something, is able to get the DP here into the level 1, able to get rid of Rock. Here we go. I wasn't fully aware of the fact that I'm watching a tournament. I would swear that was a YouTube video for a second. And right, there we switch. go, pulling out the gat. Look at this patience. Well, I kind of agree with you on that one. All right, able to get the sweep. It doesn't rush in, actually. just sits there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. You do, not a situation where you really want to overextend. This is down to the wire. Tamago may be out of meter, but he has such a massive life lead. The problem is he can't take the chance. No, not with the health that you have on your side. Right, so piece by piece, little by little. And this is where it starts. Doesn't go for it though. Left. There's the guard cancel coming through. 
Are you there? Oh! It's oh. a level three after the stomp! Still not enough to do it, and there's the runaway one second left! No! He isn't able to chase him down, and Grenyes is gonna take game number one. Mm -mm -mm. What? What a way to end the first game with nearly a timeout. With, with a timeout. Mm -hmm. No, a timeout, but almost a tie. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> Lean KOF. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Only in KOF, Ready? right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I'm not saying anything. You know what? <laughs> I'm going yeah, right. to zip up on that one. Okay. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll just let that rip. Oh, but there's the wake up DP too from Granius. I run up to B. The Kula classic. Damn, got it. Oh, there we go. Catch the roll. Two B immediately into the Tatsu. I'm on the roll. Right, Sends it out early. And catch him with a reflex. See if put it down. Oh no! Rare with DP coming out from Gerenius is Joe! Gonna pay for it. I'm trying to send it out, they're trying to keep it going, but Tamago just getting over the hurricanes. Oh, you stop it! Overhead, right into the low, and Tamago just running wild with this match right now. Mm -hmm. Trying to keep that ice breath locked in tight. Odd place for a shadow strike, but okay. And gets it in, gets it done. Alright. Still just the same strings here to harass with. Being very patient with jumps right into a shadow strike. No, that was so unfortunate. Oh, no punish at all. Goes to the ice breath, but doesn't get the crumble. There we go. All right. Oh, the DP still not enough to close it out, though. Has to keep the pressure up. To get this done. Oh my god, Tamago with the cool walk up to B. OCV with Kula. Tying this up 1 1. Somebody stand in their ground. Good on you, Dime. <laughs> and Pato Villa coming through with the $4.20. Direct contribution to the match, Reno. Sam Buff Clark, also brother. nice. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Block DP means you're going for a ride. Take that one, man. Sorry. the roll back was able to roll back out of the way of the tatsu but still not able to get a punish that ex tatsu is such a strong tool for kula all right get the close c you're going all the way back into the corner welcome to your new home Perfect. i know so we're doing this again Basically doing everything you can to keep an offense while in retreat. Because now he doesn't want to overcommit or 
commit in general has to deal with the you know, low profile from Kula. Really, it's like my history teacher in school used to say, it's hard to call it a battle when both you know, armies are running in the same direction. That's true. <laughs> the Kula is just absolutely running wild with this. The momentum 100% in Tamago's favor currently. Three. Mighty Joe Higashi make a difference. See, throwing out that standing D, but it's not enough. Tamago's DPs are reminding me so much of Daigo right now. Oh my god. How is she everywhere all the same time? Oh, but there's a beautiful guard cancel. Delete this woman. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, no. There you go. Time to bring in Rock Howard. All right, jumping CD in. Baits out the DP. And, you know, that seems to be the really big thing for Tamago now. He is starting to make Grenias absolutely pay for going, being very DP happy. Right. Making the adjustments, and like you said, he is making the opponent pay. For that in place. Full chunk of damage there for only one bar. Alright, and that's going to close out Joe. Tamago threatening to go up 2 1 here. Pull it off. Pendulum is swinging. Round four coming in. Crowing in with a lot of meter though. And now we're seeing Tamago be very patient once again. You have to take a measured approach. Goes to the stagger pressure there. It's going to land. Uh. What's up, Yuri Kov? Hope you're doing well. You're playing sick tonight. You're playing out of your mind. Uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, we'll talk about an update in the bracket later, but there we go. Tamago going up 2-1 here over Super Grenias, and I want to give another breaking news update. Yurikov has beaten Violent Kane 2-0. 2-0 to move on to the loser's semifinal. So, uh, yeah, Yurikov's kind of playing out of his mind tonight. Fighting back, man, with everything in his spirit right now. I got to give it up to him. All right, jumping straight into it. Same order, same characters. No change whatsoever. Tamago just needs one more to secure his place in grand finals. Mm -hmm. Round one. Ready? Here we go. Gato versus Kula. The fun up to see. Trying to go for the cross up there, but the DP actually pushing Tamago a little bit too far forward. Hits that jump in so high up and still gets the confirm. There we go. Harassing once again with the 2B. Car cancel through. Gets the throw. You we can't go. escape, it just reaches too far. Oh, and the trade there, 100% in Tamago's favor, and Tamago strikes. Top B, man. Menace. A top tier character, all right. Nobody home, man. Sorry, Jeff. the cancel though so unfortunate tamago getting a nice big punish there Grenius is getting a little too greedy with some of these fireballs there's the wake up dp finally landing face a trade man too much too much now or never ready go all right right now it's all tamago here yeah, very much Altamago trying to work on yet another OCV. Grenius has to make a massive comeback, but you know what? Five bars and Cronin, I believe in it. 
beginning. Those plus frames. Immediately backdash, create some space, chases straight up to the skies. What's the neutral? Enough trade, but uh, the grin is coming out on top with the exchange. There's that guard cancel out. Now you're back to neutral here. Good start, but whipping the DP is not the way you want to go. You can confirm off the slide. Interesting. <laughs> DP into immediate raging storm. You love to see it, but there's an answer with a DP. And just like that, we are down to the final characters once again here. But Tamago is sitting on set point. Mm. A tumultuous and precarious situation, if there ever was one. Man. Damage it does, man. Not killer, but it is demoralizing. All right. I mean, look at this. A lot of this neutral is going to be kind of sitting at full screen, running in and out, right? It's just, you have to be so careful going against Cronin, even if you are Cronin. The threat of that DP is too potent. Look at this damage. Some point. One wrong. Yes! But that's going to be it. Tamago with the wake up DP. Dealing it all away and securing his spot in grand finals. Sitting pretty too. The right side of grand finals. Juan actually beat AR Robert 2-1 here. And now we are in our loser semi. So we are back to two out of three. <laughs> that had to have been a crazy match then. I know. Shame we didn't get to see it, but we do get to see this one here. And Yurikov starting off with Yashiro on point. And this is what we were talking about earlier, man. This is one of the things that makes Yurikov such a dangerous opponent. The fact that he can juggle his order and still be so effective. And doing a ton of damage here as well. Good harassment. Ending with the Ice Breath a lot, but that's alright because Yurikov just built up enough meter to go for that guard cancel. Oof. I take that trade. trade man. Bringing in the next character here, B. Gene. Flying straight in there, getting a nice confirm hard knockdown. Tries to go for an overhead mix there, but waking up with the DP immediately. And again, the toxic man is just there. Good throw. Ah. Jesus Christ. What can, how do you stop this? <laughs> how do you contend against <laughs> It's just so many plus frames coming at you. Long range normals, forward advancing specials. There's one escape though, but the moment that Yurikov escapes, he just gets caught once again. Right. Oh, Grodio, I would actually, you know, I would be on board with that. Depends on who would be the third. <laughs> right. Here we go, down to the final character, Mayton Kuhn. All up to one sleepy boy. Alright, Juan able to jump in. Doesn't get too much out of there. And the 2B into the immediate EX Tatsu. Take you for a ride. Hit you in the corner and hit you with the close C. Oh. oh no, not enough meter to close this out though. But this is so scary. And the DP, yeah. no! How did I know that was gonna come? <laughs> what, what, did, what did Juan have to lose by going for EXDP there? Kula? Okay, still has two more characters left. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right, immediately to order selection here. 
Are we going to get Meiji Kun on point? <laughs> no, B Gen A on point. All right. So, Gen A oh. versus Kula. Nothing will stop this show. I'm interested to see how this choice is going to work out. I definitely think bringing top tier go up against top tier is a smart choice. Ready? Go. Yeah. Well, yeah, just say quick running. Well, your call. Just putting things up, starting things in his favor. Got to keep that momentum up. Remember, we're still in the semis right now, so it's two and three. Wakoyev has already has one up on the board. Back dash here, and there's the punish though, and now Juan can get that snowball rolling. Gets the overhead, tries to go straight into the lows with the harassment. Catches with the follow up from the Tatsu. Stop. All right, he needs to get the jump in. Spend it. All right. Immediately into the world. <laughs> All right, just wakes up with the super there. You know what? I respect it, but Yurikov is able to get the first blood and take down Kula. Italy. He's got to deal with his zone now. Oh, 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 Nobody there for Rolling Thunder. Big whiff. Jesus. <laughs> All right, again, this is going to come off a little bit messed up, but like. How experienced do you have to be to run in heels that fast that you chase down the win? I don't know how she's fighting in heels like that, to be honest with you. How do you, how do you walk on a ship, though? She's a pirate. You gotta matter, like I said, you know, how well she fights in the heels. She, you know, Yurikov keeps this up. She ain't gonna be fine for much longer. <laughs> Uh, Yurikov is doing a really good job here, just relieving the pressure enough, trying to force a whip punish situation, and there it is. Catches the back dash straight into the level one. The OTG as well. Wow, able to punish it in time. Seems weak. Not a lot of damage, but that actually puts Yurikov all the way into the corner. That's a good reward in itself. And there we also, go. Man. That jumping from Yashiro. It's an equalizer. Down to Rock Howard now. Where Yurikov shines, forcing that corner pressure, keeping your back against the wall. Oh, but the 2A wake up immediately into TX overhead kick here now. Level 2 Raging Storm, delete this character. Alright, scratching it off. One more. Yurikov coming in with the meter advantage, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The way it brought all the way back up to full health. Starting off immediately with the dash punch there. Oh, but a nice, well placed JCD able to chase down as well with the 2B. Juan taking a little bit of a lead here. Of course, with the amount of mirror that Yurikov has, that lead could be lost in one touch. Go. There it is, right? Speak of the devil, and he will appear. And then let's pick this up. Oh my god, what a juggle! And Yurikov ties it up 1 1. Yeah, and that right there. Patience and precision on the part, on the part of Yurikov. Yeah, both players jumping right back into it. Right. Dike. Round one. Ready? Go. Yes, yes, yes. All right. 
both of them immediately just putting out projectiles. Man, that too sick, man. God, it's in there. Oh, and the 2B comboing straight into the DP there. Just ending oh. it early, there's a close C punish. Crunching it out, man. Oh, the harassment getting so close to chip range as well. Look at that, trying to use the ice breath there just to chip Yurikov out. <laughs> Yurikov doing such a good job just maneuvering away from it here. Yeah. All right, that's it. One character down. I'm hung up on this right now. What song is playing? I am honestly not sure. I'm digging it, you know, it's burning in my ears. Just again, I'm drawing a blank. See, but nothing excess is the encyclopedia of SMK music. I'm the encyclopedia of Guilty Gear music. Ah, uh, so, okay. But here we go, keeping the pressure in the corner, able to get the 2B, and Kula is running wild. No. I think gonna get a full 20 seconds in here. Right, There's finally. the throw. I to put her down, but damn. Kula doing a lot of damage there, taking out about a character and a half. Now Janae can come in to try and clean things up. Oh, that withstanding D nearly got Juan killed, but Yuriko was not ready with the punish. Down. Dance here. Look at that, just staying in the corner, putting out that JCD to find the opportunity to escape here. But what an anti air coming out from Juan. Keeping the pressure on. Has some ear to work with as well. Are we going to see a guard cancel possibly? No, just tries to jump back. All right, man, just go for it. He's building up this guard, man. Forward there, and Yashiro is down. It's all up to the sleepy lad here to bring it back. They do it. Oh, whoa. A nice little sequence of events there. Oh, oh but baits out the DP. At this point, that's no next touch kills. <laughs> With the amount of meter that both these two have, that's going to be dangerously close. Oh no! Blocks the dash punch here. Immediately cancels into the level one. Tries to go for the cross up. Overextend just a little too much. Oh, no. 2D to beat up the dash punch, but there's the crazy leg. Right, man, oh yeah. my god, final game, final round. Yurikov barely staying alive there. This one is tough. This is oh. gonna be a touchy. You gotta play perfectly. No health, no meter. But a lot of heart. Everything has to work right now. Hold this pillow. Oh, the wake up to a mash from Juan, 2 a his way all the way into losers finals. Well, I say it again. Definitely shouts out to Yurikov there. Round one, ready? Go. Yeah, 
and say this. Why KOF? This pressure already. Yo, yeah, nice. Here's the Sagani. Take it again. And right now, I see. Super good right now. Literally just again. Baiting everything out, but still managing to connect. Forcing Juan K away to play his game. And then he's gonna pick up off it. Look at that, no solid confirms, no major combos from, you know, Grenyas' jump. Gets a connect, but doesn't follow through. Alright, again, the Iori X, thank you for the follow, bro. Oh, and puts the slash kick on there. Just icing on that cake right real quick. All right, but here comes Yashiro. All right, Yashiro versus Joe here. Starts off with an anti-air right off the bat. Tries to go for another one. Right. That time. Pretty good. Use the guard roll. Uh -huh. All it takes. Yeah, just like that, tied back up, right? Of course, Grenius coming in with Max Meter. Mm. Max Meter on your mid character. Oh. Yeah. Could be a lot of hurt, but we'll see what happens. Juan is on point with these two Cs. Yeah, he's getting mileage out of that anti yeah. Alright, spending the rest of the meter there. Right. Has enough for an EX, but Grenius has not gotten a chance to play this round. Finally gets the whiff punish. Alright, make this count, Grenius. Here we go. Just one more touch. Yeah, nice. Ooh, gets the reset as well. All the that was the old Ooh, canceling right. into the dash punch there to beat out the 2D. Very smart. That's what KOF Chicken looks like. <laughs> uh oh, we got Neon Green Rock. Placement here. Trey is going to be in Juan's favor. Mm. Oh, and there we go. Ooh. Dump all. No! Damn it! That was so close. Could have dumped out so much meter there. Really had to censor myself on that one. Oh, oh that's tragic. That could be a, a, a match losing combo. A match losing drop, I should say, right there. Yeah, 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 really had to censor that moment for a minute. Now you allowed Rock to get not only a little bit more meter, but more health as well going into this anchor war. Here we go. It's gonna be it. Boom. 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 The Skeet dead shoot. shot aim. What a stellar fight! And that's gonna be up 1-0 here against Juan. Remember this is three out of five losers Rex. finals. Jumping right. right back into this. Yeah, no delay. They just want more smoke. Low views here. Okay, more pressure locked up. That guard meter. And <laughs> oh, Jenny air throw out of nowhere. Ooh, Jenny from the block, getting the nice combo here. Goes into the reset. And right now, Stuart Granny is being put on the back foot, forced into the fence. Oh, the neutral yeah. jump CD there. Just stay in the corner. You're not allowed to run. God, can you do it? Oh, 
Ooh, here we go. And there we go. Juan able to win the very first round here, getting rid of Joe. Took some damage in the process, though, but going to get a little bit of that health back. Use just an excellent use of that five dick. Again, careful. He just slowly vent. Yeah, there it is. Ah, but it was too late in the sequence. Yeah. Max Power said it best. Just like that, we're tied up. One character apiece. <laughs> the brain cell on screen. Uh. Same brain cell, exactly. Yeah, All right, the two seed coming in. You for the follow, 94. Going straight into the level one super OTG. Hold this overhead. Ooh, double take. Another one. Trying to go for that hat trick. I'm not mad at you. Look at this, just putting out these buttons in the air saying, come on, walk into these hitboxes. All right, so forever and thank you with the follow. And then with Cronin now, this time Juan is the one with the substantial lead. Mm. Super. Stomp. Two stomps this time. Yeah. Don't tap. Mm. Oh my god, Cronin! Wow, just officially, running! We are officially in mud hole territory right now. <laughs> and now he's looking to walk it dry against Rock here. Mm -hmm. An opportunity in front of him. Oh! Oh, that slick! Was... Real slick by Young Howard there. Yo, though, Abare 2A has a ton of meter. Let's just spend it all. Mm. Stop! Rising tackle, momentum has changed. This is so dangerous right now for Juan. Getting that 2-0 lead will be so massive for Grenius. Yep. Oh! Mm. I like the idea, but just gambling way too much there at the end. Again, I respect the choice, but it simply did not pay off. Yeah, unfortunate. Look at that. Grenius immediately hitting rematch. This. Come on. I got the 2-0 lead. I'm ready. Yeah. All right, so we are definitely going to the character select. What's going to be the switch? Or is it just respite? Let's see. That's the interesting decision is what change do you make here, right? Obviously, you're down 2-0. You have to make some kind of change that's going to, going to give you the momentum to really make a... Uh, a big comeback. Yeah. I'm not sure. We'll see how this is gonna have to go. And so Juan bringing out Gato himself, popping out the Ashura. Round one. Ready. And Lena, he actually is Jaden Yuki, the voice actor. <laughs> oh. All right, Team Full Garo on deck for Juan. Going up against Joe right now, and Joe's just putting in the pain. That, that standing D, those Muay Thai kicks. I tell you what. Yeah. managed to connect. CD. Right now is playing out of his mind. It's just jumping CD and standing D, and they are putting in the work. 
And Joe nearly at full health now going up against Bijan A. Alright, but Jene starting to put some pressure on, gets the back throw, putting Grenas back into the corner exactly where she wants him. But look at that, just fighting the way out of the corner with Tiger uppers. There's a great challenge though immediately into level one. Gets the low, and that should be the end of Joe. Back into this now. Okay, we're fighting valiantly. You do not want to go quietly. It's bad. So trying to go for that, you know, super deep jumping. Yeah. All right. Maybe a stop sign. Trying to go for the cross up again. Land on the second try. You have to make it work. I'll hold that. And there we go, the neck breaker coming out. <laughs> How much are we willing to spend? Level two, will it be enough? Not quite. Oh, but the EX Fireball OTG will do it. Alright, so now we're making some shifting ever so quickly into Wanke West's favor. But this is Cronin, and he nearly has 5 meter here. Juan's gonna have to play very strong. Good answer. Ooh, and that's gonna be the end of Jene. We are down to set point. Mentioned it earlier, but man, this is getting heavy. This is great Scott. Oh, it gets two overheads in a row there, the two CDs. CD in the corner. How much are we going to spend? Mm. All of it. <laughs> this is so dangerous for Juan. Jumping CD is putting too much work. Now you're in chip rage. Rolls out of the way of the <laughs> EX rising tackle. And Grenas takes it three over three. Oh, over Juan KOF. This know something I don't. I'm gonna look at it that. No, but again, like mindless ragging on Ramon aside, I know there are a few players who still use him and use him seriously and take him seriously. Ramon has a little bit of sauce to him. It's just simply a matter of again knowing when to pick the spots. This is the start, right? Yep. Down. If, if Ramon wins this round, I'll shave my mustache. Here we go, Tamago keeping the pressure on. And that's yeah. going to be the end of Ramon. My mustache is All safe. Right. The soup strainer lives to see yeah. another day. Cannot imagine what that choice was about. I really can't. <laughs> I want to be focused on the match, but the remote showing up now, it threw me completely out the window. Oh, and there's a nice punish there. Just outside the range, able to throw out the 2D, gets whacked by a Shatter Strike, but drops the Palm follow-up. Mm -hmm. Alright, man, see that quick raw hit. Alright, good time, good pacing there with the D-Pick. out possibly with the level one doesn't even need it gets it with the exdp and tamago just trying to yet again work on another kula ocv just trying to rack him up tonight really really put into the work man <laughs> wow <laughs> just blows him away amazing. that my friends is how you kill somebody with kindness and that's how you kill him with violence right there with that dp oh, yes. coming out All right, Rock Howard coming in. Mm -hmm. Two and a half bars on deck. Immediately starting off with the jumping CD. Get the cross up. Yeah. 
Five seconds in. Guard meter already 60% down. Oh no, the Shatter Strike coming through and Grenius. I mean, this Cronin is absolutely unreal. Roaring back. Oh, able to combo off the counter hit. And there we go. You know, no, he was mashing on that DP. 100%. Here we go. All right, Kamago saying, I can give you a taste of your own medicine here. Hold this gun, too. Really just have to deal with that. 60% in a flash. Good for health, bad for education. Blocks the DP <sighs> and closes out game number one. All right, nice hit. One down, two to go. Tamago sitting pretty on the comfortable side of grand finals. Yeah, There's up. one in the books. Yeah, not, not, not only sitting comfortable, but extra comfy with that win, right? Mm hmm It just went from... <laughs> Like it's just it's just Grenis's chances are slowly starting to slip away here the more that Tamago starts to get used to the matchup and rematching with Ramon again. Wow. What is this? I, I'm I'm all for it. I am all for it. And I I, I can only imagine that he's trying to play because he wants the challenge. Alright, man, does he get so bot? Maybe he thinks that this is a good matchup. No Spartan. It's not for the whole set. Just for that other one. Because now I, I think the mustache. I think a mustache versus mustache would be a good, uh, a good stream. <laughs> but there's the DP coming out. All right. So again, round two. Kula just staring down all challengers. DP comes out, able to run her all the way down and get the punish. Sayonara. Alright, so again, tying it up on characters. Still, momentum is on Tamago's side. Back up, not having any of this. Wow, okay, here we go. Battle of the blowback here, man. Yeah, Jump CD just putting in so much work, but there's that wake up DP coming out. A little janky looking. But... Having any of that. <laughs> there's the throw. Run in. Or... Put it on, man. Put it on. What was that reaction from Tamago to just be able to go for the shoulder? That's that's insane. That was just a hard read, wasn't it? That he was going to jump. It had to have been. There's the jumping CD. Chase down once again. Both players are jockeying for position right now. Oh, tries to go for the EX overhead kick raw and then just lets a rising tackle loose. Mago trying to secure this 2-0 lead. Oh my god, EX Perry straight into EX over a kick. Goes for the cross of a base off the DP! And Tamago is up 2-0. Things just got things just went from bad to worse for Super Grenas. Now has to make a 3-0 comeback to reset this bracket. And take another three in great grand finals to make it stick. It is, it is slipping like sand through his fingers right now. Go straight back to the member select. Let's see if the change in character. Obviously, kicking the Ramon to the curb. Sorry, you're fired. Yeah. Replace him with Antonov. Oh, it's Joe. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So the question is, all right, gonna stick with the primary order that Yurikov has been playing. Oh, Tamago's been playing on mistake. 
And as you very enthusiastically stated, Super Granny Nuts has brought out Joe. Round one. Ready? Go! Alright, nice little time kick. Alright, nice short hop there over the tiger upper. Good punish as well. Waiting for the jump out, gets the close C. Joe is history. Mm. The men's on my heart is starting to tear. Dude, can he pull this off? Alright, Ice Press coming through. Tamago just dominating this matchup right now. Finally, Grenius able to relieve some of that pressure here. Putting on some pressure of his own. Right, and he gets over on Kula, and still Tamago is not done. Yeah, gonna get a little bit of health back here for Gen A, but not a ton. And what confirm two from nearly maximum range. Those buttons didn't even look like they touched Janae. There's the level two rising, raging storm. Excuse me. And the elbow to come through. We are at tournament point now, Afro. Tamago. Tamago. Right now. This egg Take doesn't crack. Right. Spend. I let that rock. Go for the stomps. Then my whole clean. Rising tackle coming out. Chasing down. Gotta watch out for the DP. Grena still has a ton of meter left. Give the land a DP of his own. No punish there on the elbow. A little too far away. Impeccable spacing. And opportunity is slowly presenting itself. Still not quite there yet. I love that patience there from Tamago also. Just trying to be very careful about the DP and the gun comes out. You had to expect it. Why are you throwing a fireball at a Cronin with that much meter? Yeah, now down to the wire. This could be for all the marbles. It's nearly even as well. Grainus with a little bit of a life deficit, but a little bit of a meter lead. Pull back. Run up DP. This is the start for Grainus. Are we going to spend it all? Yes, we yep. are. Get the gunshot. Run up and keep the pressure going. And finally, Grenas gets a point on the board here, staying alive. I can afford, just like I said again, that was a nail biter. That, uh, again, like I said, I ain't a spring chicken anymore, so I gotta be careful about how stuff like this affects the old strawberry tart. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. My heart is always racing in these brackets. <laughs> Round one. Ready? Go! All right. I think Joe is going to have to put in a lot more work here for Grenias. Unfortunately, just kind of got rolled over by Kula at the start of the last game. There's the throw. Joe's back is up against the wall again. Fakes out with the CD into the low. God, this is a... Uh... And just the pattern, the cadence of it, it haunts me in my sleep. <laughs> that tiny little no, what would be a song from Kula. 
Oh, baits out the DP. Gonna get a nice punish here. Doesn't have a lot of mirror to work with, though. So it's not going to kill. Oh, no. You see, Tamago is doing such a good job of just kind of short hopping into nothing. Short hopping into nothing just to catch Grenius throwing out the DPs. Stand to a ground. Ready? Atatsu. Oh, that Tatsu. Tatsu is disgusting. There's the throw. Mago keeping the pressure on. Renius needs to find a way to escape. Gets caught with the 2B. Well, Cronin's got to make a 3 0 comeback. Has to make a reverse OCB, nearly full health Kula, if Grenas wants to stay alive in this tournament. All right, DP straight through the pressure. DP's through again, getting really close, getting rid of Kula. I need to go for the fireball there. One back to create a little bit of space. Starts to approach. You know, Tamago is content to also just kind of let the clock run down, right? Does not want to give Cronin any help. Yes, and there's the DP coming out. All right, cool is gone. Now Rock Howard coming in. Cronin sitting at about half health. Ooh, nice chase down with the DP. Able to pick up. Oh, there's the stomp. Oh. We're actually getting kind of close. We're getting kind of close. Rock is out of here. Now it's Cronin versus Cronin. Uh, nail biting scenarios, bro. It's Anybody's game yeah. at this point. So, Grenis, though, with a very big meter deficit here. Tamago sitting on nearly four bars. That's a big deal. Just harassing with these jump in, stealing turn after turn back. Jumping CD. It's my turn now, says Grenis. Trying to put a fight against this thing. Spends the EX. Right, he's super built up just enough meter. This is where Tamago can't be scared now. Grenius has no meter. You have to press the advantage. And this should be it. And there it is. Tamago takes it 3-1 over Super Grenius in Grand Finals here at TNS. Standing work. Absolutely incredible there.